Welcome to Crime Time News and Entertainment with a Buzz. A couple of years ago, I saw a video on social media with a young man. This young man was crying out for help. This young man was saying that if I get some help, I feel as if I am going to take it to the furthest extent, meaning go to one of those hardware stores, get some sorts of rope, short rope and find a long bridge or a tall bridge, high bridge. I immediately reached out to this youth because I think he had left a number. I reached out to him and then I posted his story on social media on my YouTube platform. Needless to say, the help that he got was overwhelming. There were many persons, including persons that I know, that came to Jamaica, whenever they come to Jamaica, they would check up on him. People would send him hundreds of dollars from the United States, Canada, all over the place. Like me say, it was overwhelming. He was doing okay. I heard that he was in the church. He was doing some sorts of foul farm. Everything kind of took off. I said to myself, well, all right, at least in fine life, him find comfort, him find joy in his life. He should have been okay. Needless to say, a couple of hours ago or maybe a day or so ago, I saw a next video. Immediately I said, this person kind of sounds familiar. This person kind of look like somebody that I've had some sorts of interaction with. And people, it seems as if the problems that he had were very deep. It seems as if there was something that was in his life that he needed to address before he could actually move on. So it was not just financial problem, it was mental problem. Something was bothering this youth very, very badly. It seems as if when he was about 14 or so, some poor, poor officer took him away, took him to some sorts of isolated place and did some things to him and he is emotionally traumatized. So people, I want you to take a listen, take a look to exactly what this man has to say, and then I'll give my piece. Watch ya, for your CP, you see face, you know, a kind of stone boss at talk. I saw the video here, and on a joke video, this a video here. It's a video here, a serious video me and me. Hear me I say, the video here, I feel Jamaica constantly forced to police him on a Lucy police station, from Lucy CIBC office to the one with don't, 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 don't this up. You see it? From headquarter to Lucy Police Station to Kingsdale Police Station. When me a 14 year old, one man named Alfred Buckingham, otherwise known as Martin, in care where you got orange beer, go bless me. I'm come back and tell you, I'm no, report it to everybody. I tell the people I'm in my community and they laugh off of me and they mock me and a bag of things happen. You see me? CD end up here about you and CD send for me and send me go to homes. You see, I got caught one time in January 2015. And all them do I send me to go to homes and I get fit person order. End up that I go to jail. And I left jail when I was 18 and I come back around and I tell the people and say, yo, I want to get justice because this man carry me to do whatever with me. I'm going to get no justice for my thing. You see me? I'm going to as much time as over 10 years to solve the case. You see me? I could have killed myself. You see, I could have murdered myself and I say, no, I want to do it the law way because they say, yo, for do things by the law. Me try to seek help from Jamaica for justice. Me try to seek help from all kind of people to get justice because it affect me. You see, but oh, through your man, them say, oh, a man blow. Oh, what me I tell them this? You see, my pain now go go so. Here, I have two daughter, and you see right now, oh, me I made my head. But they now go know their father has no weak man. They go know their father dead for what is right. Because you see system, the system I feel for every youth and I tell you this from my heart. You don't go come for me or go go for me, but here you know, something go happen. I'm not going much longer upon this to go no way. I think I'm going as much time. So you boy Martin and me go come for you. I'm not busy if I want to go for my father or my mother or nobody. Just know, say, just know this, me, I come for you. You boy Alfred Buchanan, a.k.a. Martin, who can you go bless me when I'm 14? Just know your time, they're very near. I'm not talking about it and I'm a mouth. Code up. Now, people, you know that for somebody to jump over your fence, speaking of women, 
it is like them take your pride, them take your dignity. They take a whole lot from a woman and it is a bad situation to put any sorts of woman in, a, especially a young girl. When it comes to a man, when it comes to a boy, just imagine with the stigma that exists in a Jamaica, the little boy, I think, say, Lord God, my kind of stain right now. Me turn fish. The man fish me up. The man corrupt me. Just imagine this youth now as a man, no longer 14, in I'm 20s. He might think to himself, I go the legal way when me a youth. Me not get no justice. Me get traumatized. Me take it to the station. Me take it to the CDC. And now me I come out again as a big man. Shame. Well, there is not supposed to be any sorts of shame in this youth because he was... People jump over him, friends, and uh, the rest. It is not something that he consented, or even at 14, he could not have consented to any sort of activity like that. So this youth has been living with this for all of his life, and like I said before, there was a video, if I am not mistaken, in which him say I'm going to take for himself because life kind of stressing. So just imagine... Financial, emotional, traumatizing for a little youth. Yes, him get some money and yes, he's able to take care of himself financially and him even have two children. However, something has been bothering him and he wants closure on this something. And again, he decides that is either by the hook or the crook. If me can't get it the legal way, I am willing to take J-U-S-T-I-C-E in my own hand. I am going to get justice. Is either this man go to prison or me go to prison for his D-E-A-T-H. And people, it is going to sound a bit controversial. I must say that I kind of agree with him because that is the mentality I have, especially if I'm a picnic, not even I talk about myself, I know say, listen, as a youth growing up, anybody talk to me, I send them up under their mother. So therefore, I was not one of those type of youth, gangster for life, like I'm telling them. So this youth, I met the people, them know, say, listen, by the hook or the crook, I want justice. I would rather to sacrifice losing my life than for my children to look at me as some sorts of weak man. Because if me can't defend myself, how me I go defend them and people? Those thoughts are a bit kind of extreme, but I understand. So anyways, based on information that I am now getting, it is said that that video caught the attention of the JCF. And the JCF upper hierarchy, they are doing some sorts of investigation. However, people, here are the facts when it comes to the JCF. They will protect their members by the hook or by the crook. It is wrong and strong. So therefore, this you try before, no success. He may put out the word once again, don't let it get to the extreme. Do something before something do you. And people, like me say, the problem is the culture in the JCF. They will protect their members at all costs. So people, like I said, this youth has been crying out for justice for about a decade or so with no sorts of success. And this is because of the bad culture of corruption in the JCF. It seems as if it is more than coincidental, just as I was about to speak about this case. There is also a case that involves police corruption at the highest heights. This is in St. Elizabeth. So pretty much a couple of years ago, a young lady was driving. She was pulled over by the poor poor. Them claims say she had some sorts of tickets, traffic violation. Then there was some sorts of bribery that came into play. They told her that she need to pay X amount of money. She told them that, listen, me not have the money there, me only have X amount of dollars. They then decide, meaning the JCF officers, it was a bright idea. 
Well, we can follow you go at the ATM machine and you draw the balance. When she went to the ATM machine, unfortunately for her, the machine was not working. She did not get the money. The officer then had an next bright idea. Well, you can blow for it so you can go to your destination wherever you was going. Apparently, this young lady either got scared, did not know what to do, got confused. She decided that she was going to do something, give him some sorts of SEX. That SEX was under the rest. She then, after the incident, went to the Popo station and she filed a report. But before that, the first responder on that case was a lady known as Laverne Hendricks, Constable Laverne Hendricks to be specific. The Popo officer involved, his name is Alwyn Hall. So Hendricks and Hall. Mrs. Hendricks was the first responder. Now people, as a woman, you would have thought that when she came and this lady made a report traumatized, she would have sympathized with this lady being a lady. However, like I said, the badge always comes first. This lady has been going to courts. Both the officer, Mr. Alwyn Hall, is on bail, and also Mrs. Hendricks is also on bail. She is on $600,000 bail. That case went to court the other day. She was charged for pervert in the course of justice, amongst other things, because she was trying to derail the case. It is even said that she contacted the victim and offered some sorts of money. You know that this victim is Mrs. Chattimout, and rightfully so. If you want justice and you decide that somebody violates you in the worst way. So my point is this. In the case of this youth, we say, say, when he was 14, something very bad happened to him. He went to court, no sorts of justice. This lady got violated. The man took it by the rest, so therefore she was confused and she gave it up because she thought that if she didn't do that, maybe she would have lost her life. Definitely, he might have done something to her. So it's the type of person that are in the JCF, but what is even worse is the fact that they have people defending them at all costs. So therefore, the badge comes before the victim. So therefore, the victims are now further victimized in cover-up for these monsters out there in the JACF. A sad state of affair in a Jamaica, and this is it, a next proof, point blank and period. Now, since we're on the topic of corruption in low places, as in the JCF, let's talk about corruption in high places, as in our government. As in your present Prime Minister, Andrew Holness, we see all the controversy and drama as it pertains to his name. 28 bank accounts with an excess of about 400 million, almost half a billion dollars. The Integrity Commission investigating, forward in the case, the Financial Investigative Division. We see that he is doing all sorts of sikes, all sorts of lawsuits against the Integrity Commission. So therefore, he is using whatever he can. It is called desperation. A drowning man clutched at a straw. However, at the end of the day, it is because of corruption. It is because of greed. It is because these persons are exercising their ulterior motive, the reasons why they went into politics in the first place. It was never about country. It was never about the people. It is all about lining their pockets. So I came across a very interesting video on YouTube. The name of that channel is Jamaican Carlos TV. You could go and subscribe to his channel. Tell him that I sent you there. Most importantly, not to say that the whole video was not good, but the intro, I had to steal that intro. Of a man that is speaking about corruption, the pros and the cons, well, not really any sorts of pros, all of the cons, take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my piece. Corruption is a vile disease that sucks and drains the health out of something good. Corruption in society is an evil moral infection that keeps community in the state of perpetual sickness. Corruption is a moral virus. It's so potent it leaves its host sick, lethargic and unable to realize and accomplish all that a well person can. 
Where corruption thrives, poverty and not prosperity thrives. Wealth is grabbed into the greedy, grubby hands of those who get fat on the toil and labor of good people. Corruption benefits only temporarily those who participate in it. Everyone else is a victim of the theft, the deceit, the dishonesty, and the lies that corruption feeds on. You need to know that a corrupt person is stealing from you. Corruption is filthy work and despicable acts of treachery done under the table and behind closed doors. Corruption is a disgusting shame. Now, people, one thing about this channel, I pride myself. If I am going to put up any sorts of voice notes or any sorts of video, there has to be a method behind the madness. There has to be some sorts of message. I am not going to just put up a video just because this person has talked some outlandish ish on social media that is what seems to sell. I am not looking for the likes, I am looking for sending the proper message. So you hear what this man say. And this applies to the persons out there that because of their own blind loyalty and what they say about blind loyalty, it is worse than no loyalty at all because you put yourself in a very disadvantageous situation because you are partisan or you are following an agenda. You are pretty much under the spell of some sorts of cult leader, which it seems as if most politicians are. The man make it specific. What corruption does, it benefits people like Andrew Holness and other politicians like himself. It does not benefit the country, the host. The host is drained, sucks the life and the B-L-O-O-D out of Jamaica because whenever them thief, whatever is supposed to be done by those taxpaying dollars that you and I are paying, is going towards the pockets of purses like angel holiness. So therefore, it is going to lead to poverty. This poverty is going to lead to more crime. So how is it that you are fighting crime? However, you are in bed with the corruption. You are the epitome of corruption. It is counterproductive for any sort of country. The safety, security, the education, the morals, just the liberty of the people on a whole. So what we find is that persons are still defending, defending Andrew Holness, including all of his politician minions in the JLP and people. The same thing applies to the, J, to the, to the PNP. No sorts are different, two party, both of them are going to play the same sad song. So therefore, I am neither PNP or JLP. I would rather vote for some sorts of random goat or some sorts of maga dog upon the streets. So when we hear Andrew Holness now doing some sorts of damage control, doing all sorts of lawsuits, this is the MO of a psychopath. A psychopath, whenever he realizes that his back is against the wall, he starts to lash out. He starts to act as if he is some sort of victim and everybody is victimizing him. He starts to point fingers at purses. However, that is just a distraction. And if you have an iota of sense, you would read between the lines, see the fine prints. It is simple as that. Point blank and period. So anyways, people... Thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dance All Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.